Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about why I've been slowly moving towards more raw foods and the fully raw vegan diet. Um, a lot of you who have been following me for quite some time do know that I am a creature of habit and I go through periods of time where I'm really enjoying something and then I decide, bam, all of a sudden to switch things up again and try something new or something different or go back to what I had previously, previously done before that really, really did work for me. You've noticed in my What I Ate Today videos the last few weeks, and I've gotten a lot of questions about it and on Instagram, why I'm starting to eat more fruit-based again, and, and of course, because I'm eating more fruit-based, more high raw, I'm getting more of those questions about, oh, fruit sugar, fruit sugar's bad, you shouldn't eat that much sugar, you're gonna get sick, you're gonna be poisoning yourself, you're gonna die, um, where do you get your protein, there's no protein in, in raw foods, um, <laughs> you're gonna waste away. There's so many questions and so many, um, so much negativity that's attached to fruits and vegetables and a lot of people seem to think when you start eating um, high raw a lot of fruits and vegetables whether it's cooked or just you know raw if you're starting to move towards fruits and vegetables as your main fuel source people start to assume or, or just all of a sudden think that oh no that that person has orthorexia that person's sick that person is very unhealthy because they're eating too much healthy food oh it's crazy I can't believe it the the, the time period of which we're living in now this our society is just so obsessed with high protein meats and and dairy and processed foods and it's now considered um, you know, accepting and, and good to promote curvy women when these women aren't actually curvy, they're actually clinically obese and it's it's sickening. It's it's really, um, I find it really frustrating and sad. So when someone takes it upon themselves to put themselves on a, on a, on a higher level and start eating more fruits and vegetables, whether they're vegan or not, um, and the, or they're moving towards more raw foods, raw meals, that's amazing. And then people seem to um, jump on them and attack them because they think, that they're being unhealthy, they assume that that is unhealthy versus, you know, today's society, we're supposed to be big and fat and we're supposed to enjoy unhealthy processed junk foods. So I'm just, I find it really just, it's quite ironic the way things are all twisted now. And it's, it, it can be, um, if you are in the spotlight, if you are a YouTuber or you, you know, you have some social media accounts and you're putting yourself out there to show and promote a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet that's rich and high in fruits and veggies and raw foods, raw meals, um, and just eating, you know, an abundance and eating appropriately for your body, you get attacked for that. You get like, you get these trolls coming on your page and getting all like offensive and um, freaking out that you're starting to eat super healthy and I, I have a feeling it just it's just simply because it makes them feel bad and it makes them feel a little bit lower or it makes them it makes them realize the bad habits and the bad behaviors that they are doing to themselves. Don't take it personally, don't take it the wrong way. I welcome these people onto my channel because um, I get a lot of questions, I said, about sugar, um, glucose, um, too much fruit, uh, about protein, carbohydrates. It gets a lot of these people asking questions and essentially if someone is coming onto my page, coming onto any of my social media accounts and they're asking, um, genuinely asking or they're curious about these um, important topics that were not taught or were not shown in day-to-day -day life, I am very happy to give the answers. I'm very, very excited to provide the information for those who are confused or who do not understand what it is to live a healthy lifestyle. So in my recent videos, I am starting to move towards more raw foods because again, uh, if you haven't heard my story, if you don't know me that well, if you're n more new to my channel, I have been eating a high carb, low fat vegan diet for nearly six years. In a few months, it'll be six years. Um, and throughout this whole time I have continuously been very intuitive and I've, I'm, I'm very very prideful of that and following your body's intuition and your your body's hungers your body's your body's signals of wants and needs and satisfaction and fullness and cravings and so I practice what I preach I am a huge believer that if your body um, is telling you it wants more of a certain thing or if it's telling you it doesn't want anything of what you were ha 
giving it or, or providing to your body before, it's really important to listen to your body because um, I've said in other videos that being stagnant or being stuck in a specific diet or pushing yourself to eat a certain way or a certain amount or you know just doing something else in your life pushing yourself to do something and then it's no longer feeling right it's it's making you feel uncomfortable it's hurting you that's not appropriate because we are forever changing our lifestyles are forever changing um, you, you you may go through different relationships you may go through more stress in a certain period of time we're changing as the seasons are changing so what we crave what we need for our bodies will not always be the same so in my recent videos you'll see me eating more raw foods simply because that's what I've been pushed towards. Intuitively, my body is pushing me to eat those foods. They just look so much more appetizing, so much more vibrant, and, and I find that when I start to eat more raw foods, I just crave more raw foods, and I, I feel so, so good. And when your body feels good, when you feel really good doing something, you're going to want to keep doing that. Essentially, I've been eating more high raw, fruit based, because that's just what I've been um, going towards. It just, it looks more appetizing for me. So I'm following my body's intuition, I'm following my cravings, my wants and my needs, um, and I'm eating until satisfaction. And um, it's, it's, it's wonderful. And that's why I'm sharing it with you because, and I'm also very open with um, saying that I'm not always going to stick with one specific way of eating because as I said, I feel like we are forever changing. Everything around us is always changing. And if you push yourself to do something for a long period of time, that can be unhealthy if it's not no longer working for you. If it does continue working for you, please go ahead and continue that. Don't let other people sway you to move towards doing something else or eating a certain way or not eating a certain way just because someone else is doing it. Follow what works best for your body and listen to your body. Feel what feels right for your body and, and feel what doesn't feel right for your body. So right now, eating a lot of raw foods um, and just delving into high raw fruit based it feels so good for me so I'm gonna keep doing it and I'm gonna keep showing you these videos what I said videos and maybe help inspire some of you to eat more high raw um, eat more fruits and vegetables um, and and you know just push put the message out there how important it is to listen to your body eat as much as your body needs for fuel and nourishment um, eat a lot of fruits and veggies because fruits and vegetables are so so nutrient dense nutrient rich they are the most nutrient dense foods on the planet so it's really important to consume them as the bulk of your diet in abundance eat as much as you care for them I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful if you did don't forget to hit the like button there and if you're new to my channel subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you guys next time. Bye!